This white DSTV dish was installed by a professional DSTV installer. While this blue one you're looking here was installed by me, a novice in installing DSTV. And I'm going to show you how I did that. Now, in this video, I'm going to divide it into two. This is going to be the first part where I'm going to tell you the things you need to know before you go to do this by yourself. I'm going to show you two apps you're going to install in your phone uh, for azimuth, which is moving left and right of the dish, and elevation, which is up and down. These are the key basic things you need to do. I'm going to show you also the website of the satellite, the UTELSAT, where you will just go in, key in your longitude, latitude, and it will give you approximately the azimuth you need to put into to set this dish to get that satellite. It's so easy. <laughs> and you ready? <laughs> Come with me. Let's go check it out. So this is the full DSTV 90 CM dish package. We already activated it and we're watching it online, but now we're going to try to install the dish. This is do it yourself and we're going to see you know, whether you can do it as a novice, and we're going to do it like a novice from the beginning. Uh, let's just say I have a little knowledge about installing satellites. Probably the bigger ones, not the small one. But let's see. Okay, let's jump right into it. You're going to need two apps. Number one is uh, a digital compass. You can download it for any phone that has a, a magnometer. And also, you're going to need an elevation app on the right. So, elevation will tell you when you go up, down the dish. Uh, at compass is when you go left or right. The more important thing you need is to go to UTELSAT website. You can search UTELSAT as modern elevation and make sure you pick the one that has the deploy Sobami light. So, that one, click on it and it will take you to this place where you will see um, the option for you to put in the satellite and then to put in the longitude and the latitude uh, now we are going to select the utelsat 36b on 36 degree east that's what dstv is using for my region i think this have about two or three different satellites they use all across africa so you can put the map location or you can put in your longitude latitude and click on calculate so what this thing does is going to give you for the particular location, longitude and latitude where you're standing, it's going to give you the most accurate, um, the most accurate uh, azimuth and elevation. So you could just use your compass for the azimuth and use your uh, angle elevation app for the elevation. Either you keep it at the back of that rod on the dish, and it will give you. Uh, in DSTV, you also have a elevation in uh, degrees on the back of the dish, so you can also use that. The next part is to assemble this dish and just follow the bolt. So that's my rule. If you're going to do this, each bolt, the number of bolts, like this one has four, there are four types of bolts that should be able to do that. So this these are the few tools that I'm going to use to work here. My tape, spanner, screwdriver, plier, and razor. So I used both 10, 12, and 14. I think those are the four that I used, the, the three that I used. You see, this is satellite dish. Everything has to be precisely locked. So here is where we have the uh, elevator. So on the other side of my left hand, you will see the degrees written there. Uh, you can use it to find your elevation. Yeah, it's written on this side, this side right now. So you can set the elevation that you got. Then the next thing that you have to know about is do not use just concrete near to the wall. It's not going to be good for satellite from my experience as satellite. You need to use fissure, big fissure, and then the get the biggest, the longest <laughs> uh, screw nail that you're going to use because once it fits like that, it's not going to be easily, you know, moved. You're going to need a short cable. You're going to need a power source and a TV or a laptop with a HDMI card. So as you can see, um, I'm going to use a short cable with my modem and laptop to so you actually pictured me to be around here. So with a little tweak, I was able to get signal. So the next thing I need to do now is to get the biggest signal. So the little tweak of elevation here is what helped me. I've done the best azimuth, so I'm doing elevation gently because I've already got signal. I want to see the best. So this is the final part of the disc. That's, this is the fine tuning part. So where you can actually skew this in a little bit from the left of, this is three o'clock, between three, uh, 2.33, um, 4 o'clock, so you screw it and then you check the signal and see whether there is any improvement on the signal. So that's the final part and um, 
So this is where we started and we we're able to, you know, go through all the process and things that we required to install the dish. So I hope you've learned a lot of things. In the part two, we're going to go from the beginning to the end, but I hope right now you're ready for that. I hope you've learned a lot from this and make sure you subscribe, right? Good. Subscribe. I'll see you.